everyone, I'm here today with my top 10 most read authors. Now a lot of these authors have made it onto this list because I've been reading them since I was a child. So I'm hoping to update this list once a year and obviously as I grow older and my reading taste continually changes, we will hopefully see some difference coming up each year. But as it stands at the age of 30, this is my current top 10 most read authors and I'm going to do them from least read to most read although in most cases there's very few books actually sort of in it. The only one where there is a difference is the winner is over like 50 books but that will make sense when we get to it. So at number 10 we have Stephanie Mayer and of course I've read all of her Twilight series and I've also read Life and Death. I've not read The Host, but even without reading that, it was still enough to get her into my top 10. And that's mainly because I read a lot of variety of authors. I don't read a lot of the same works by a specific author so often. In this case, you only need to have been read by like five books to be in my top 10. <laughs> Can I just say, by the way, I'm really enjoying that I'm getting to hold up books in this video. I read far too many ebooks. It's nice to hold a physical book. So at number nine, we've got an author who I actually did some book reviews on recently. Did I film videos yet? I definitely did written reviews. I think I filmed videos. Maybe not. They might still be to come, actually. But this was one of my favourite childhood authors, and this author is so well known, and that is... Enid Blyton and I've read so 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 many of her books but this is one of my absolute all-time favorites The Enchanted Wood, The Magic Faraway Tree and The Folk of the Faraway Tree and I cannot stop going on about how much I love this book honestly like look how battered it is it's literally falling apart but I, I love this book and I've got so many fun memories and this is the original version, so it's got like all the drawing and everything, and the original names as well. So, yes, I do actually have a character named Fanny. This edition was before they got all ridiculous and changed all the names so that they weren't quite so inappropriate, apparently. So, Fanny got changed to Franny. Um, there's a character called Dame slap a lot she become dame moan a lot i think it just all got a bit ridiculous but for children's books these were definitely a go-to when i was growing up she was such an amazing author then at number eight we have got sophie kinsella now this is one of her standalone novels can you keep a secret but she is the author of the shopaholic series which i'm sure you must have heard someone mention at some point. She is one of my favourite authors of all time. I will make a favourite authors list one week as well. Although a lot of these will probably have a little bit of repetition. So I might leave it a few months. She's just such an amazingly funny author. I just love these for a bit of light entertainment. Something a bit different. Something to sort of make you forget all the troubles of real life. Then at number seven... We have got one that many of you probably won't have heard of actually but this is an author that I really enjoyed as a child and so I read a lot of his sort of children's books and that was Humphrey Carpenter and this author has made it on the list and all the reason that I used to read all these different Mr Majika books. This is the only one I still own but I used to have loads and I used to get loads from the library too and I think the main thing that stood out about this series for me I know it sounds ridiculous, but there was this dinner lady called Mrs Chip Chase and at my junior school I actually had a head teacher called Mr Chip Chase and I just enjoyed that little fact so much and oh, there's Mrs Chip Chase. You just can't beat classic children's books and seeing all the yellow pages and remembering how you felt when you read these books and I enjoyed these. They were such a great read for children. Then at number six, we've got an author that you may have heard of, and that is Anne M. Martin. 
and she wrote obviously all the babysitters books and also there's the babysitters little sisters books that I also hadn't read quite eagerly and I just loved these they were sort of my first proper introduction to kind of mysteries and thrillers and obviously if you watch my channel a lot you'll know that I absolutely love a good thriller and mystery and these books are probably partly to blame to be honest but I just absolutely loved 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 all these series and I think part of it was just having such a similar name obviously this one is Christy and I am Kirsty and I used to always be really jealous that my name wasn't spelt that way then at number five we have got the only one who I haven't got a physical copy for in this list and that is LJ Smith and she has made it onto this list for no other reason than I read a heck of a lot of the Vampire Diaries books a couple of years ago. I can't remember what number I got up to, possibly 10. I really need to finish that series sometime. That is something that needs to happen. But it was getting a little bit crazy and a bit weird and I got to the point where I actually preferred the TV show, so. Then at number four, yes, only number four, I really need to get around to reading more of her books, to be honest. JK Rowling and Obviously she is one of my favourite authors of all time as well and I really, 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 really am desperate to just read the whole series of Harry Potter through from beginning to end but I just have too many books on my TBR right now that I just can't justify it. And by the way, I love the back of this one. I love that picture of Dumbledore. That was Dumbledore in my head the first time I read this book. Then at number three, we've got an author who I've discussed quite a few times on this channel, so this shouldn't come as any major surprise, but we have Roald Dahl. And I'm currently mid-reading every single book that he has ever had published, including like his adult story collections and things like that, so he's only going to keep on creeping higher up my red list, to be honest. But the BFG is the book that I picked to hold up because I just love the colours on this cover and I just love the story of the BFG. Um, yeah, if you've not read a Roald Dahl book, you need to. Then at number two we've got an author who I actually only picked up for the first time last year. However, since doing that I've actually managed to pick up every single book she's ever had published. <laughs> Literally all of them. And that is Cassandra Clare. So obviously we've got the Mortal Instrument series which I read last year, then the Infernal Devices series that I read last year, then last year I also picked up her Magisterium series, the first two books, and I also read any other book to do with the whole Shadowhunter world, and then I also read Lady Midnight this year, and oh yeah, of course I've read the Tales of Shadowhunter Academy as well. So this is an author that, considering I'd not really even been all that aware of her until I came onto booktube, is an author that I've devoured over the last year. So then at number one, you're thinking, what author can I have read to that extent and beyond to outdo the ridiculous devouring of Cassandra Clare that I've done this last year? Now, as I mentioned, I've read over 50 books of this person that is in number one. And so that's probably leaving you thinking, who's published that many books? And you've probably got a few ideas in your head and you're probably not going to be right unless you know me really well and have watched my videos for quite some time. And so, at number one, we have R.L. Stein. Yeah, the Goosebumps books. I, after picking up the Babysitter's books and discovering that I liked horror and mystery and all that, I started devouring these by the bucket load. I still own most of them. Just got stacks of them. Stacks and stacks. Read them all. Loved them all. But then it goes beyond the Goosebumps series. Because then obviously he did the Fear Street one. Sorry, the front cover's fallen off. The Fear, Fear Street books. And then he also did some Point Horror books. And so I read all of those too. Well, that is it for this list. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me if you have any of these authors in common. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.